Hey people, okay, so it is already 5 p.m. and I have filmed nothing. Do you want to see something awesome though? Look. Mamas. Hey, Irie. Look, as soon as I say her name, her tail goes. Irie. Irie. Oh, she's crawling and she's crawling. Who's a pretty girl? Who's a pretty girl? Yeah, she's a whore. Okay, so um, this is what we did today. I tried on the Vera Wang dress. Yeah, yeah, I know. She got it for me and I hadn't tried it on yet, but I tried it on and gorgeous. Now, I was having a little problem with shoes. Being that my feet swell up to a million times their size, like, seriously, I feel like, did you guys ever see that, um, movie? It was an old movie. I know so that younger people don't know what I'm talking about, but, um, Big Trouble in Little China, when the guy, like, blew up real big, I know that is so random. Anyway, I feel like that, like, just really garbage pail kiddish in my feet area. Anybody know what I'm talking about? If you do, extra cool points. So, um, Darlene got me something to go with the Vera Wang dress, <laughs> and I do not want you to laugh because it is perfect. I am trying to roll the freaking wheelchair and do it at the same time. Okay. Freaking isotoner slippers that are black that look like little satin slippers. <laughs> Those are going to be my shoes for the evening. <laughs> and I'm totally going to rock them. I don't have a choice, people. I have black shoes that would be really nice with the dress, but my feet swell up like an Ethiopian warthog. And I'm like... Ugh. I can't be in pain all night. I really cannot. I refuse. So, satiny isotoners it is. <laughs> I know that sounds so white trash, but it's so perfect. So anyway, we went to the uh, Kohl's today, and we got Chase his outfit. And OMG, it is freaking awesome. And she is like a Kohl's card carrying person or something. So I paid her, the, I gave her the money. And she used her credit card because then she gets a whole bunch of discounts and blah, 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 blah. So we ended up saving a shit ton of money. He got an entire outfit, including shoes. And I'll have to uh, have him show that to you maybe later today. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, he's not going to like put it on and model it and stuff. But, you know, because he's 15, I can't get him to do anything like that. You know what I mean? He's not into it. But maybe we can just like hold it up and show it to you guys. So anyway, it's pretty effing awesome. And it's really cool because it's going to double as his um, homecoming outfit. Two birds, one stone. Boom. There it is. I told you guys I'm a winner. That's what I do. I win. I won. Two birds, one stone. Winning. So, um, yeah. This whore. <laughs> hey, mamas. Are you a pretty girl? You pretty? You got your sexy pose on. I love it. Yeah, so hopefully something else interesting. I wanted to film in Kohl's. I brought the camera and everything because the camera does not leave me. Like, I take it everywhere with me. But this is the deal. Darlin does not know that I'm a vlogger. So, she does not know about my interwebs life. And, um, I don't think she would approve. Not that I care, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just awkward. And I just don't want to have to explain it, like, because people don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, no, there really is a community, and these people really are my friends. No, I've never met them in real life. But I know they exist, and we're friends. So <laughs> it's just awkward, especially with somebody that doesn't even have a computer. 
Do you know what I mean? So, anyway, I'm just, whatever. I'm not going to explain that to her right now. Maybe one day. But any who's all, um, but there was these kids that were just, like, out of freaking control there. Like, they were Walmart kids, but in the coals. And they were all over the place. I so wanted to get the video camera out. And one of them was, like, the size of, like, a field mouse. He was teeny tiny, but carrying the biggest backpack I had ever seen in my life. And he was running through the clothes and all this stuff. I was like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm, I'm frightened. Like, it was, it was a little frightening for me. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. And we're going to rub her belly, apparently. She wants her belly rubbed, so rub it right now. I'm going to give you guys time to go and rub her belly. Stay away from her nipples. Is that good? Am I done? Okay. Oh, okay. One thing I just want to mention, I just want to throw it out there. Feel free to throw it back if you don't want to hear about it. Um, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to say it like this. YouTube drama is very lame it's very 2008 2007 do you know what I mean like I feel like a lot of us see this is the problem a lot of us that have been hanging around on the tubes for a couple of years we've been through the YouTube drama and then been over it and now we're just like wow that's lame do you know what I mean but then the people that are coming in that are brand new, then they're kind of like, oh, this person said this, so I'm going to do a video about it. And I'm going to mention their names. And I'm going to get a lot of attention. And it's very 2007 to me. 2008? I don't know. One of those. So, people, if you do a video about me, it really does not affect my life in any sort of way. It doesn't. I mean, or if you even, and not even me, like if you mention somebody else in a video and you're doing a video fight with somebody, that's stupid. And you can't do a video fight if the video, if the other person does not participate. It's just you ranting, looking like a lame ass that is stuck in 2007. Truth hurts. So... Let's just go ahead and stop that. Yeah, let's just stop that. Just stop it. Stupid. We're grown-ups, right? If you have gray hair and you're doing video fights, you need to reevaluate a lot of things, okay? I'm glad we could have this talk. Hey, people. So, we're... I, well, I'm watching TV and stuff and, you know, videos and whatnot, you know. We just had dinner, um, I made ribs, um, and mashed potatoes and steamed broccoli. It was fab, and now I'm fat and sassy, and actually I heard from an old friend like a high school friend, but we've been in contact since high school, off and on. And um, he's just an amazing, inspirational guy that I just totally love so much. And he um, moved to Atlanta, and he's back here, you know, just doing some business and stuff. And he's leaving tomorrow, but he contacted me, and he's going to come and see me tomorrow morning, probably before his flight leaves back. So I'm very, very excited. So I'm probably going to go to bed early and um, all that so I can be well-rested and um, fresh as a daisy tomorrow when I get to see him. And hopefully I'll get some video of that. I love your guts, guys. Toodles, poodles. Do I have something in my teeth? I'm sure I do. I just ate the hell out of that rib, like grease on my face. Whatever. Bye.